Someone asked me if I smudge and how to properly smudge. And they asked me if I smudge every day. And my answer is yes, I smudge every day. The first thing that I do every morning is I cleanse myself and I smudge. Another question I was asked is if I use sage. Sage to me is fairly new. Okay, but I use it in the traditional way of Native American how to smudge, which surprisingly the technique that I use today is similar to the Espiritismo, Puerto Rican Espiritista practices that were taught to me by my abuelita, my grandmother. Although salvia or common sage is native to Puerto Rico, white sage is not. It comes more from Mexico and the west of the United States. One thing that was very common in all indigenous tribes was the use, the sacred use of tabacu or tabaco but each region had their own herbs that they use to smudge some would use white sage others would use copal others would use tabanuco as in the taino people of the caribbean that use tabanuco in puerto rico they use tabanuco in puerto rico we also do not use the term smudge smudge in spanish means to manchar manchar means to leave a stain we use the term fumigar or fumigación, which means to fumigate the body with sacred smoke or incense. So as I do a fumigación or smudging, whether it's personal, ritually, or ceremonially, no matter if I'm using an herb, a resin, an incense cone, or an incense stick, there are personal steps that I like to take that have their root in my Taino indigenous culture that I didn't even know of. So the first thing that I do is I light my incense or my herb. Uh, if it's an herb, I use a, a match. Here I'm using a sage. And what I'm doing is I'm going to pray and consecrate this spirit, the spirit of the medicine, of the herb, and make it sanctified to God. The next step that I like to do is I like to cleanse and wash my hands. Just like I would do in the morning, wash my hands and my face, I'm going to wash my hands with the smoke. So after I fumigate my hands, I then cleanse and fumigate my mouth so only good things may come from it. And then from there, I like to cleanse my eyes so may I only see good things from it. And then my ears so I only think good things or hear good things. And then my head so that I may only think good things. And my heart so that my heart can be purified and cleansed because every day we need to purify ourselves. We need to remove those negative vibrations from within ourselves. You know, start a day new and we thank God and we purify and we cleanse. And this is just my personal way of doing it. Puerto Rican Espiritismo, not just in Puerto Rican Espiritismo, you will see this in many Native American cultures in North America and in South America. We use a spiritual colognes in a lot of shamanistic practices that have root in indigenous cultures. And you will see that we uh, despojarnos similar ways that we would do with uh, the smoke or the smudge. We take the perfume, we pass it through the nose, we pray over it, and then we pass it through the head uh, and we cleanse ourselves and remove any negative vibrations. What we're doing is purifying ourselves. So this practice was brought down from our indigenous cultures. The term despojar or despojo means to strip away. And what we're doing is we're stripping away any negative energies that may surround us from within and from without. We always start from within. We are humans, all right? So we have to despojar. We have to strip away from deep within by praying, by cleansing, by meditating. And then we start, of course, uh, with the nose, we smell it, and then over our face, our nose, our, our eyes, we don't touch it, and then, of course, our head. Now you're going to see that I'm going to do the snapping motion. The snapping is I'm whipping any negative vibration that I have inside my head. Uh, maybe I'm influenced by someone who's trying to hurt me, so I don't want to react, so I'm like cleansing and stripping away anything that might bother me. So these practices that you see us do in Espiritismo Criollo really do have their roots and their origins in our Arawak and Taino people, our indigenous bloodline and cultures. So there are two ways of fumigar or saging or smudging. There is trendy and then there's spiritual or ceremonially. 
And there is no right or wrong way of smudging. The most important thing that you do before you smudge is that before you light that incense or that herb, that you pray and that you give it a direction, that spirit, on what you want it to do for you. Uh, before I do smudge, I like to cleanse and purify my body. And then before that, after I cleanse and purify my body, then I can cleanse and purify and smudge the home and my surroundings. So in closing, I want you to see that I have some white sage here. And my, I want to dedicate this video to my friend, uh, Steven Salinas from California. He sent me a package of uh, yelba santa, cedar, and white sage. And I had some palo santo. So I want to dedicate that to uh, Steven. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Sancista Brujo Luis.